I invite our guests, gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, I'm an awardee, but I'm a Nigerian. That's correct. The lecturer, my friend, Professor Zakumi, had made some points. The activist, who later became a politician, <laughs> had also made some comments. But to be wrong, sitting here without correcting some impression. First of all, we are talking about democracy 25 years. We know we have challenges. I expected the lecturer to say, yes, we have made some progress. And on his lecture, not one progress was made. Criticism, criticism, criticism. Are you telling me that for 25 years we have not made one uh, progress? Then we can say, yes, we have made this progress, but there's still room for us to move uh, forward. Just like Sheh Usari said, how they were locked up, how they were detained. Can he say under this democracy, any Nigerian have found himself under that state? That's a progress. That's a progress. You see, we should um, give the impression as if we have not made any progress. You have said here yeah, about infrastructure, FCT. You have said here yeah, FCT. Who is FCT minister working under? Who? The president. Mr. President. Which means. He has the capacity to do those who can help him move the country forward. That is progress. <laughs> Mr. President knows that there's a problem. And that's why he said, he did hope agenda. Why did he say he did hope agenda? He knows that Nigerians have lost hope. For the day that he must work hard to bring back that hope to Nigeria. So it is not as if, Mr. Perry, don't sit down, let people not deceive you that Nigerians are suffering. Who does not know that Nigerians are suffering? <laughs> that is no longer a story. And, and we should not be sitting, well, we should distinguish between theory and real practice. You know, we, we like to come to the public and begin to turn, that's what Nigerians like. They like to clap hand. Mr. President has been making a lot of efforts. And you know where we are coming from. We, we don't expect, within a short time, economy that was down, everything was this country was broken, and then you expect, within a short time, everything will be corrected. That is not correct. Thank you for saying that we have turned Abuja around, which means if Abuja can be well, it means other things will be well. Yes. So I felt I should contribute this, and to say, my brother friend, and that the main fact that you were active does not mean that you, you will do well. No. That they did not allow you to be good. No. Activists have always failed. <laughs> activists have failed. We have seen activists that were given appointments, and yet they failed. When you were seen it, when you were seen it, how did we perform? What was our performance as senators? And you have said about rigging elections and as an activist, how many times have you rejected brief? Those who have rigged the election, you have always defended them. <laughs> so it's, 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 it, is not, it is not about every time, every time we come here, we postulate and postulate and postulate. Thank you, and God bless you. Uh, yeah. Thank you, thank you very much, Honorable Minister. If anybody was wondering whether yes, some wicked was here, the person won't be in doubt now. But he's making he's made two essential points for us always to be balanced in our comments. That's actually the most important thing. He has talked about the achievements in FCT, yes. Centenary City came on to 2015. 
The controversy has dragged since 2015 until a few weeks ago. People who came in, because I was consulting in the office of the SGF at the time, came in with $18 billion to invest there. The politics made them go away with it. This man here, he called Centenary, called FCDA. It's like, it, look, stop this nonsense. We need this. It's resolved today. Centenary cities are alive. Clap for him. We could have gone on and on, but we can't. Definitely there are people in the audience who have a lot to say, but we've had enough. Um, let us give everybody a round of applause and call it a day. Thank you very much, Prof. I think the discussants deserve a great round of applause. Um, but I think you still have to wait because we have questions. Just three quick questions. We'll take them. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Let's quickly go on to the awards presentations now. We'd like to very quickly call on... Please, I hope the technical is... Could you start beaming the biodata? We'd like to first call on Comrade Issa Aremu. Comrade Issa Aremu, MNI. And to make this presentation to him, we have the privilege of calling on Dr. Solomon Arase. Please, can we beam? Technical, please beam the biodata. A vibrant former student. Please, we'd like to call Comrade on Dr. Solomon Arase A vibrant to former student active. Comrade Issa Aremu, a vibrant former student activist of the Progressive Hue is a firm believer in the possibility of Nigeria to rise to her full potential of truly being called African giant despite her myriad of problems and challenges. As a labor veteran, he has been involved in the struggle to position the Nigerian worker as deserving of his rewards in a fragmented society of social and economic disequilibrium. As Director General of the Michael Imodu Institute of Labor Studies, he struts the world of labor policy and labor agitation and has sought to walk the delicate balance. Comrade Issa Remu, MMNI, is the fifth Director General, Chief Executive Officer of the Michael Imodu National Institute for Labor Studies, Eloy. He was appointed by former President Muhammad Buhari on the 4th of May, 2021. Until then, he was the elected Vice President of Industrial Global Union with over 50 million members from Africa, Europe, America and the Caribbean and Asian Pacific. Immediate past General Secretary, National Union of Textile Garments